Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. As you can see on my bench right now, I've got a different project than what I was working on before. And I will kind of like explain what this is in a bit. So this is a project that my father wanted to do for one of our friends and uh, yeah so I'll be getting back to that in a little bit but I've been kind of on a selling spree with uh, eBay lately and uh, getting rid of some gear you know just uh, recycling some stuff and um, selling some new stuff that I ended up building well kick guitars not really building from scratch but kind of close to it maybe maybe not I don't know anyways so I ended up getting rid of the Dean Shire. That was the first one to go. Um, really didn't have no use for it. Um, it was in mint condition, but not my cup of tea as far as having the bridge as a piazzo pickup. It was, I wouldn't use it for anything. Plus the dual outputs, you know, that's kind of something that, you know, I have no use for as well. So the next thing that I ended up selling was the uh, PRS wannabe kick guitar, and that thing sold pretty pretty quick. I mean, it wasn't uh, started getting bids on it, and it ended up uh, you know going pretty good. Next thing I got rid of was the um, well, my Gibson Light, the Les Paul. You know, at what was it, 7.8 or 7.9 pounds. With my back the way it is, um, that really didn't matter as far as how light that guitar strapping across my back, um, you know, over my shoulder and stuff, is. it still felt you know like something was there. So to be honest with you, to kind of part with it, I'm really not that heartbroken because of the fact that, uh, well, either way, if I go with the regular Les Paul style body, you know, the thickness and everything else, or if I go with the light, it didn't matter, I still felt it. And then uh, next was, what else did I hear? Wait, how did this get here? So this is some of the feedback that I received from the buyers of what I've sold so far. And I'm gonna have a few more things I'm gonna be posting up soon as well. All right, so you may ask yourself, what the hell am I doing now? Well, I don't know. Maybe you'll ask yourself that. Seems kind of weird asking yourself that, but I don't know. Anyways, my father and myself, uh, one of our good friends, my father wanted to do something kind of nice for him, you know, a project that was um, handmade rather than just going to the store and buying something for him. So I went online to eBay and picked up a block of quilted maple. Now this, to me, this doesn't look like a quilt at all. Um, it does flip-flop a little bit, when you move it around in the light, but uh, yeah, I don't know. So I just got done basically uh, dyeing it and putting the epoxy resin on the top of it. So I do have to do some sanding and some polishing with it. I got one little tiny or two little tiny pieces, one here and one somewhere over here of dirt or something that either fell out of the air or whatever on top of this. Uh, dust or something, but the rest of it came out really nice uh, folding over the edges So what I ended up doing or what my father ended up doing is he pulled out the mill and we pulled out the uh, bandsaw finding out that the bandsaw the blade itself is not very good for cutting a maple or hard woods um, it ended up starting to burn the blade a little bit didn't really get through it very fast at all so it was kind of like okay we're going to have to upgrade some of our equipment if we're going to do any work or if I'm going to do any work on uh, woods and stuff in order to, you know, make projects like this. So he kind of agreed with me on that. So what we ended up doing is 
since he's he's home from work still from his health issues um he's bored out of his mind so we decided to put this on the mill and my father ended up you know whittling this thing down to the thickness that he wanted it and then squaring it off so I ended up doing a die job on it with the um, the powder dies. Now I went, the whole thing got a kind of like a very light brown die to it. Um, right now it kind of looks like it's more on the gold side and the lighter areas than the brown side of it. And then what I did is I took some red dies and kind of went around the edges of it giving it a little bit of a red burst and that's kind of what you see here so it came out pretty good I'm, I'm really happy with it it's still curing it still has to go through its curing process for the next three days but I can handle it so what is this for okay well it's gonna be a pen holder so what I ended up doing Again, going on eBay, in picking up two silver pens with the holders. You could buy these, uh, I don't know, online if you want to, any, almost any place that sells office supplies and stuff like that, you can buy it. I just picked it up off of eBay. So these are chrome plated and, or silver, and what you end up doing is you mount, drill a hole, mount the base, and the pen goes inside of here, and you know, you've got a pen holder. So I picked two of these up, which will go on there. One is a pen, and the other one is a pencil. And I also picked up, since the guy is a Harley rider, and one of his motorcycles that he owns, um, or his first bike, I can't remember if he still owns this bike, or if it was his first bike that he ever owned, was a... was this right here. So I ordered this brand new. It's from Franklin Mint. And what this is, if I can open it and get it out. Up here would be the title and the paperwork for it. So what this is here is a small version of what he owned. And this is a 1957 Harley Davidson Sportster. Kind of cool, huh? It's got working brakes, it's got working gear, gear lever go works. Um, yeah, it's got the wires, the lines, the hoses, everything. It's kind of nice. Now, this is going to sit on top of that. It's going to be mounted. So, the way I'm going to mount this is I'm going to end up taking. Now, the kickstand is metal. All right, so I'm going to kind of scrape away a little bit of the metal here. I'm going to get some wire. I'm going to drill some very tiny holes in the plaque. And I'm going to put a wire going around the kickstand. And I'm also going to put a wire going around each wheel. Use the same technique of drilling very small holes. And I'm going to glue those wires into the stand, the plate. And that's going to hold this thing in place permanently. It's not going to come, come up or come off or anything else. Which is kind of a shame because this thing is kind of highly detailed with uh, a lot of nice features to it that, um, yeah, can be kind of cool with, uh, do I have this in the right way? I want to make sure I have this in the right way. I think it did, yeah, it came out this way, so it should go back in this way. There we go. So, yeah, that's what this is going to be. And one of them went around over here, one over here, one over here, and this went on top of like here. So yeah, that's what this is going to be. And it's going to be something that, that's like, you know, it's, it's, it's personal to the person. It's uh, something that was built by hand, made by hand, in exception of this. And I think it'd be kind of cool to give that as a gift to somebody. So what I went out and I done too is that nice little uh, router that I end up picking up, which I've been using the hell out of this thing. Oops, sorry, upside down. I've been using the hell out of this thing. This thing has been working really great. But the problem with this is it takes the smaller, um, what is this, the 
oh gosh, the one eighth. I think the one, no, not one eighth. Uh, God, I can't see what the hell this is. Okay, the quarter inch. It has a quarter inch chuck on it. So it all the other Dremel stuff that I have for my was it a Yobi I think or Milwaukee I think I have that Dremel or uh, router sorry not Dremel nothing fits inside there because they're all too big of bits. So what I ended up doing is I picked up this kit a twelve piece kit and uh, used it to route out around the edges to give it a nice slope a nice curve. So now it's basically the waiting game on that to dry. So far it's cured enough to where I can handle it, not a lot, um, but I just poured that last night, the last, uh, the last pour for it, so that's going to have to sit for a while. So now that's what I've been doing lately. George's guitar has been kind of on hold, and not for any real problems. What I ended up doing is I strung it up. I have tension on the neck and I'm just making sure the neck is going to pull itself uh, with the string tension on there and the truss rod set to where I have it set to make sure there's not a problem with the truss rod because of the fact when I received the guitar it had so much bow in it I don't know if there was a problem with the truss rod or not so I'm kind of like letting the guitar do its thing for a couple of days and then I'll do the setup video on that which is not going to be that much of a big deal I am going to have to work on the nut on that guitar a little bit because the nut is making noises it seems like the the way that they um, made the seats for the strings on that nut uh, is too tight for the strings so you're getting a little bit of a ding sound every time you move the trem on there so I'm going to have to work on that and I'll show all that in the next video so that's what I've been doing I've been kind of like selling a few things to uh, kind of support a little bit of a gear thing that I'm looking at that I was possibly wanting to upgrade some stuff um, yeah so we'll see about that but don't tell nobody all right Plus, you know, the kick guitars and stuff, I wasn't planning on keeping them forever. And some of the gear that I would buy, I'm kind of doing the same thing I used to do before. I'd buy it, work on it, mess around with it a little bit, and get tired of it, and put it up on eBay for sale. The nice thing about everything that I've got is it basically looks like it's brand new because I take care of what I have. And whatever I do for the finishing or how I finish uh, the kick guitars and stuff, um, I tried my best to make it look like it's a factory job and uh, hopefully that's what uh, everyone is looking at when they uh, purchase something that I've done and that's what they think so far so good so I've been kind of looking at body blanks and uh, guitar necks now I have four guitar necks uh, brand new ones in the storage area over here I have a Ibanez, no, not Ibanez, I have a Kramer body that I picked up when I was doing um, Wally in a Box's Kramer, his custom job, um, and uh, my father wants to do a custom paint job with airbrushing and stuff on that Kramer body that I have, it's a candy apple red body. And uh, he wants to sand it down and do a custom paint job. Kind of like what he did with his custom chopper, uh, his Triumph, years ago. He wants to do a custom paint job like that on a guitar. And I gave him the body and told him, you know, do whatever you want with it. So now I'm looking at body blinks. And uh, started doing some research on different types of woods. We have a place called out here Owl Lumber. There is another lumber yard that is close by over here as well, but I don't know what the quality of their lumber is for built for using as guitar building. I do know Owl Lumber um, uh, is supposed to have like a lot of the luthiers will go there to pick up some wood and shit for necks and bodies. So I'm going to try that out and see what's going on with that. I've got a bunch of ideas of body style shapes that may or may not exist in my mind. So I'm looking forward to uh, doing that. If I don't build a neck, I can at least refret, reshape, make my own headstock uh, on a store-bought, or not store-bought, but an ordered neck. Uh, still put my logo on it and uh, you know refret it do the work on the on the, the fretboard if needed 
whatever. Anyways, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. That's what I've been up to. And uh, I need to get back to George's guitar because I know he's waiting patient for it. And that's the only thing I haven't shipped out yet. So you guys take it easy. Have a good one. And I will catch up with you all later.